asthmatics advised to be especially careful of swine flu. One week after the swine flu pandemic was declared by the World Health Organization, or WHO, about 40,000 people in 88 countries have been afflicted, with over 170 fatalities. The virus has entered Bermuda, the British Virgin Islands, French Polynesia, Martinique, Macau, the Netherlands, and South Africa for the first time, while continuing to spread in countries such as China, India, and New Zealand, with recent jumps of several hundred each in Australia and the UK as well. After the swine flu was confirmed this week among three crew members of a Spanish cruise ship, the vessel was turned away from the Caribbean island ports of Granada and Barbados. Only returning nationals were allowed to disembark at Venezuela, and the remaining 900 passengers were set en route to Aruba, their final destination. Viruses such as these are known to mutate into different forms, and just this week a new strain of the swine flu virus was discovered by scientists in Brazil. Although the afflicted patient has recovered, it is not yet known if this new strain will cause more severe infections than the one currently known. As an upper respiratory infection, swine flu can be exacerbated by conditions such as asthma and emphysema, making it lethal in some cases. Supreme Master Television interviewed Dr. Anne-Marie Kimball, MD, a leading epidemiologist specializing in respiratory illnesses at the University of Washington's Department of Health Services in the U.S. Dr. Kimball provided the following advice for people who may be concerned that they have contracted the swine flu. So I think people just need to be aware that flu has pretty particular symptoms. You know, you get real, you get bony aches, as we call them, pains in your joints and bones and, and a high fever. Obviously, like with any other upper respiratory infection, if you start getting chest pains and difficulty breathing, that means you need to be seen right away. Our appreciation, Dr. Kimball, for the sound advice on protecting our health. We send our condolences to all those affected by this epidemic and pray for an end to this affliction through a similar stop to the animal agriculture industry so that we may truly safeguard society's health.